Guys, thanks for joining us today. Michael here over at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous car. It's a 1965 sunroof coupe. We've got the owner here. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. How are you doing today, Mike? V VW sunroof. Of course. I think everybody can see that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Good. Doing? Yeah, this is a really good specimen. So this is a fully restored car, but, but originally very, very solid. All original sheet metal. Floor pans are have never been replaced. Uh, it has a new paint, new interior, a lot of period options that are considered very desirable. Roof rack, uh, engine cover rack. That's pretty yeah, cool. Uh, it has a little package tray underneath the um, dash, which is nice, and a lot of interior trim. All VW accessories, though. Wow. Which keeps it nice. Sure. I like even the mud flats. I don't think I've ever seen those before. <laughs> well, it's, and it's got those crazy uh, bug floor mats. Yeah, inside as well. Pretty neat. Uh, this was owned by an engineer at uh, Brookhaven Labs, who's a complete uh, fanatic, and went through the entire wiring diagram, plotted it all out, replaced anything he thought could have been upgraded. He put in a special relay for the six volt because he maintained it at six volt because he wants to keep it original. Sure. So he put in a uh, relay, which makes the run from the battery back to the uh, engine and back again. A lot better, similar to what they do in aircraft engines. Huh. Um, and he had the engine completely rebuilt. Wow. Even though it was in decent condition when he had it, he said he wanted it to be optimal, so he had it totally rebuilt. Engineers must drive themselves crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Such a pretty car. I even like these. These are pretty cool. Yeah, it's got the vent windows, and if you open the door, you'll see it's got uh, kick panels on the inside. Uh, the corners where they usually get scuffed. Oh yeah. It's got these uh, EMPI, which is a famous uh, Volkswagen accessory company. Sill plates, those crazy beetle mats, which underneath the carpeting is all new. Mm -hmm. And so sunroof. You know what? One thing I I kind of noticed too the felt on the sunroof. Yeah, it's perfect. It's gorgeous. Sunroof coupes, by the way, on these are actually a class unto themselves. Hmm. So most people don't realize, but it's actually listed as a different model. Oh. V, a VW sunroof coupe versus a VW, uh, just a regular Beetle. Uh, he had the radio sent out. He said he spent 600 bucks to have that radio repaired. Wow. Because he wanted to keep it original. It's tube, so it does require some level of expertise. Those are little feelers. They're lit up, too. Right. They go on the front yeah, fender. So exactly. Yeah. The if you want to, you know, use them as. Uh, I, 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 thought, I, I left them off because right? I thought it was a little too much trim, but they're there. If anybody wants them, it also has these um, pop out rear windows. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't it's see that a lot. important because they actually increase the. Between the vent windows and the pop out window, yeah. the car is totally. And the sunroof yeah. is almost like convertible as far as driving in the summer. Sure. I love this rack too. It's got these uh, push outs, yeah, it's got quick special, releases. Right, these are special. He engineered these. Wow. These are special pins to pull out, just you know, squeeze them and they come out. Really? They were regular nuts and bolts when the thing was originally provided. All the wood is meticulously restored. Yeah, really cool. So neat. The people's car. Yeah, the people's car. Very special people. In <laughs> That's for sure. You don't see them equipped like this. No, you don't, and you don't, you know, the chrome bumper, I don't have to tell you that the chrome bumper VWs are a whole other thing. You know, sure. you can find the Super Beetles for 25% of the price of these. So the chrome bumpers, uh, you've noticed also uh, in the back that yeah. had the uh, little vents for keeping the windows open. So yep, really cool. The little rain guards. Now this area that you just were looking at, I'm sorry to put it back here. Yeah, sure. You see this is intact and never repaired. This is really the, one of the original rust uh, spots on these cars. Yeah. All the brake uh, cylinder. And the, and this thing is the uh, windshield washer, washer which runs to the spare, which is where it gets its power. Yeah. So you pump up the spare, over inflate it, and that air is used to use the windshield washer. Oh. Really? It's original jack. So the the air, extra air inside the spare pushes. Exactly. Wow. How neat. And the VW German engineer. Let's check out the engine. 
Now, this is the one I told you was completely rebuilt. You have to be a little careful always when opening these because it's very close tolerance on the hood. New carburetor as well uh, of the correct vintage and type. Keep everything intact and uh, it just runs for it. All right, let's, yeah, let's fire it up. No gas, right? It is. really is. Yeah, they still look good. Every, they, they're very charming. Everybody stops and waves. Really neat. And they're fun to drive. Yeah. The rubber's old, beautiful, spares brand new. All the rubber's new, but the spares never been down. Yeah. That little vintage uh, suitcase was you to throw in with all of its travel. <laughs> That's pretty cool, design. yeah. <laughs> How cool. That's great. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, my name is Michael from Weeby Autos. Feel free to give us a buzz. We do offer uh, financing, worldwide shipping, and expert advice. We're at 631-339-0399. And uh, don't forget to subscribe below. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot. Take care, Michael.